Parshat Lech Licha Me Altsacha Mulatacha Beit Avicha El Haaretz Asher Areka The learning should be for the Hatzlacha of all the Chayalim and uh, in uh, admiration towards all the Kfir Golani Tzanchanim Shiryon soldiers that all did their Masakunta, the great students of uh, Rav Hillel Khan, the Talmidim of his, who were all Zoha to finish their training in preparation for themselves to be the shoulders of the Jewish people, holding all of us, enabling all of us. And the learning should be the refuah of all the Cholim, and for the healing and transformation and elevation of the entire Jewish nation. And uh, in Parshat Lech Lecha, we'll uh, go deep into the story of Avram Avinu. And one of the things that introduced Sarah was that that he Sarah Akara, Sarai Akara. The opening note of the story of Sarah is that she's barren. She does not have children. And they travel to Eretz Israel, and they still don't have children. And then, Vashem Pakadet Sarah, Hashem gives the opportunity for Sarah to become pregnant and uh, to give birth to a child. And throughout all the stories of Avram Avinu, there's something that we would call a sicha, a conversation, and a very, very deep conversation that's going on between Avram and Sarah, how to view the bait. The bait for Avram Avinu is a, is a gas station. He sits at Petach HaOel. He believes that the reason you have a home is in order to bring in angels, as we can see in the next parsha. The reason we have a home, as the Gemara teaches, is that he can bring people in, feed them food, make them make a bracha, and connect to Hashem. And so the home is a gas station for the world. And Sarah is betocha oel. Sarah Yimenu asks for Ishmael to be excommunicated. Sarah asks Avram Avinu to realize that the bait is a separate entity. It's a goal in and it of itself. It's a transformation of a human being from being someone that affects others in order to feel elevated about themselves to someone that impacts themselves and then is willing to share but not define their character in essence as how many people come into my home. And we live in a time that we think the more, the better. The more visitors we have, the more guests we have, the more our home is machnis orchi. And it's not that that is something chas v'shalom that is bad. It's something that's so beautiful on condition that the home is not a gas station, but a station. It's a place that shows that you can show all your sides. It's a place that realizes that emotion that we experience at home is not secondary. It's something that needs to be a very serious part of our lives. A home is a place where we realize that internally there's always more work to do. Just like we see on Shabbat when we go home, that we have to fill our inner world in tefillah. We have to fill our inner world. And so I think Avram Avinu realizes that only if your house is a station, then you can make the world into a gas station, a place where you share. But if your home is not a goal, then what you're sharing will end up becoming selfish, broken, and dependent, and not something that's wholesome, 
something that creates harmony, and something that's building the inner world. And so Sarah teaches us in, in this parsha, Lech Lecha begins with Bayomer Hashem al Avram. You can go out if you have an inner world with Hashem. But if you have a broken world, then make sure to fix and build and fill so that when you're sharing, you're sharing something that you're living and not just something that you're saying.